In the previous video, I showed you how we went and set up my sales call training, and then I tagged it under my links. So now we're going to go back in there, and we're going to come down here to the extra options. And I'm going to try to cover this to the best of my abilities because this is very powerful, but it's also very advanced. And it's not necessary to get you up and going, but once you become familiar with how to set up links, then you will understand where each one of these categories fit in. The first thing is we have this option right here called the retargeting pixel. Now remember, we have a drop-down menu, which means the drop-down menu is controlled from manage groups. But I can also click this here and I can add a retargeting pixel right here on the page. I've shot another video showing you what the retargeting pixel does and where you manage that. For right now, just understand that I can go ahead and choose one of the pixels that I've added to the software and what Easy Links will do is it'll fire off that pixel before it redirects to my destination link. Now, in this specific example, it doesn't necessarily apply. And the reason why is because this is my page. So if that's my page, it can be assumed that I have access to this page. And if I have access to this page, that means that I could place the pixel directly on the page. So this wouldn't come in handy. However, if this is a page that I don't have control on, or if it's an affiliate offer or Amazon, or something of that nature, and I set up my link, and I don't have access to that page where I can place the pixel myself, then what I can do is I can fire off this pixel first, and then Easy Links will redirect them to the destination link. Next, we get even more advanced, and this is called a tracking pixel. Now, I've shot another video showing you how tracking and conversion pixels work. So for right now, just understand that this is where you would get this code for this specific tracking link. If we come over here to dates, we have the ability to state when this campaign is going to start and when this campaign is going to end. Why is this important? Well, here's the reason why. If I have the start date for January 30th, 2016, and then I set my end date for February 2nd, 2016, this is what happens. If somebody clicks this link before January 30th, then what they're going to see is they're going to see my pending page because the link is not active. The link does not turn active until January 30th. But on the same token, after February 2nd, the link automatically goes to a completed status, which means at that point, they're going to see the completed status holding page. I want you to understand what I just said. You can now automatically state when your link should be active. And then what Easy Links will do is it will handle showing them a pending page and a completed page based on the dates that you have set up. And once you understand that, you will understand that this is one of the most powerful features that Easy Links has. Now we're going to come over here to the holding pages. This is very easy. When your link is in a pending or a completed status, this is the page that will show for pending. This is the page that will show for completed. And I just told you how your status will automatically change once you have your date set. So I can come over here and I can say, okay, for my pending page, I'm going to set it to this. And for my completed page, I'm going to set it to this. You can also go ahead and add these pages right here on the fly. I shot another video showing you why it's important to have your pending pages and your completed pages. And we've also got what are called default pending pages and default completed pages, which means if I forget to come down here and set my holding pages for this specific campaign, it's okay my default pages that I have set up inside the managed groups will kick off when it's in a pending and completed status. As complicated as this may sound, it is very easy once you understand it. And again, extremely powerful. Here we can type in any notes we have for this campaign. Maybe we have the affiliate login. Maybe we have payment details. Whatever we have, we can place notes in here. We can also go and load an image that pertains to this link. So if we take a picture of it, if we take a screenshot of it, if we have box shots, whatever we have, 
we can go ahead and upload them and they are tied to this link. When we open up our affiliate platform, remember, drop down menu, controlled from manage groups, or we can do it right here. This is where we can go and we can choose whatever platform we have set. And finally, one of my most favorite features, we have the master campaign. All you need to know about the master campaign right now is you will choose the master campaign for this specific link. And then when you're viewing the master campaign, you will see this link inside the master campaign. And once again, we shot an entire video covering the master campaign alone. So when you're done, you would just go ahead and click save. All your extra options are now applied to your link.